Hey you guys, what's up? This is Matt from Lone Tree Farm and Nursery. It's dumping rain, it's freaking awesome. We're, in, we're smack dab in the middle of monsoon season here. Um, I've been gone for about a week, um, going up and down the Oregon coast with my wife celebrating 20 years. Amazing, just so beautiful. And um, it was sunny all week. People say that never happens and come home and it's just raining and everything is taken off here. Um, so let me just give you a quick tour and I'll take you over the garden, show you what's going on there. Um, everything's exploding, it's awesome. Okay, so right out the front door, the figs are taken off. This, uh, this wicking bed's going crazy. See the geranium starting to flower. The tomato in here is just hanging all over. It's not getting much sun. So it's not really producing much yet, or if it even will, I don't know. Um, the amaryllis finally popped. They're just gorgeous. Tomato plants are taking off. Starting to get some tomatoes on this guy. That one's got flowers. Here's all these uh, cucumber. One of them just went south. I don't know if I just couldn't compete with two of them in there, but this one's doing well. And uh, let me walk you over to the, the garden. So, let me show you where... Uh, here is where we ran the chickens. Right through here. You can kind of see the path going that way. And um, let me get you down in here. There's all kinds of stuff happening. Before this was just straight um, stemmed goat grass. And now there is just all kinds of different things popping up in here. And um, it's super exciting. So the chickens really affected that. Over there you can see just that's goat grass, that brown stuff over there. So they've really affected the land just in the short time we had them on here. We ran them all through here and this is just taken off with all kinds of new stuff. Let me show you the garden though, it's crazy. Here, here's also where we ran them through and you can see it's just exploding with new growth. So. We moved the chickens through there. It opened up, uh, knocked back that goat grass, um, added fertility, um, opened up the seed bank, allowing new stuff to come up, seeds that were just inside the ground, but to really take off. But check out the garden. There's the pumpkin, there's the other one, and it's just out of control. It's crazy. I definitely need to come in here and thin out the, uh, um, the cantaloupe, you can see there's a ton of dirt. The cantaloupe's about taking over that tomato right there. This one as well. It's about to get swallowed by cantaloupe. So I need to thin those way out. But it's just exploding now. So I think they have all they need. You can see there's this, I don't know what this is, this little leguminous guy coming up here. Um, but it's going crazy. The chickens have been moved through here. And then we planted the garden, and it's going crazy. If you look over here, you can see those green swaths right around that little structure where it's really bright green and going up from the end of the garden. That's all where we move the chickens through. So it's just exploding with new growth. It's a little cactus. So it's really exciting seeing the effect they're having on the land and that they're actually improving it. So we didn't move them through here. You can still see a lot of the goat grass, but here we moved them. A little too hard, we ran them too heavy on this section. Um, that was early on, still figuring it out. Our catchment basin's full here. So it's catching all this water. If you can see it flowing in from the road over there. So we're catching it all off the road. It's flowing in. 
coming in right there, filling this guy up, and then got a few little trees planted around here, right there. It's overflowing right here. The oak like to chew on this one. So the overflow is right here. It runs down. It's all grown in with grass. This is all rock right here. And then it has a series of, uh, what we call this our water ladder. It catches the water and slows it all down and puts it back out on the street at the very end of the property. So anyway, it's pretty wet out here. Um, I'm gonna get back inside. It's gonna be like this all day, so I'm gonna get wet anyway. I gotta get, get going to work. But you can see the literally the green swaths where the chicken tractors have been and how it's really improving the land, adding fertility, allowing new um, grasses and, and plants to come up where that goat grass had been choking it out and creating a monoculture. And now we're getting a, a broad diversity. There's another green swath. So very excited about what the chickens have done to the land and, uh, and have some other ideas moving forward on how we're going to use them to build a big garden right over in this area. Alright, I'll keep you updated. I'm going to go inside and get dry.